subsequent to the end of World War II, German naval archives were again examined. And analogous to the disappearance of the Cyclops, there were no German U-boats, warships, or mines in the Devil's Triangle at the time the Nereus and the Proteus vanished. But again, far up in the North Atlantic, another British ship was sunk with all hands. Her name, Cyclops. Not all enigmas of the Devil's Triangle include sailors and airmen, for during Christmas week of 1967, two keepers at Great Isaac Lighthouse in the Bahamas simply disappeared, leaving no clue whatsoever to their dilemma. This is a very, very strange phenomenon. I, I believe it is connected with actual change in dimension due to a magnetic field, the impingement of a magnetic field on a boat or an airplane, a magnetic field which could be produced by a flying spacecraft. We noticed that the, uh, the compass began to uh, act up. It was oscillating, it's like you had a, a strong magnet in the proximity of the compass. And uh, we happened to notice about this time a strange greenish light coming in low over the water out of the southeast. And it was coming at a, at a, at a very slow clip. And it came in and, and hovered right above the water. And, and the water that night was very calm because there was no clouds and no storms. And the moon was almost full. And the visibility was excellent. And this object hovered right above the uh, the uh, surface of the sea for a few moments, and then it just turned up on its edge and, and descended right out of sight into the depths. Uh, there have been a number of, of uh, such spacecraft uh, uh, seen uh, approaching ships and uh, actually disappearing under the water. There's two uh, underwater UFOs or two things you've never seen before. They've been buzzing along the side of the boat, and now they're off in the front kind of heading from south to north. So I looked out, I seen these two things, I guess they're about 60 feet apart. If, uh, they're buzzing along in formation, they're egg-shaped. They're around, more or less egg-shaped round, I guess about 40, 50 feet in diameter, and uh, the same distance long, a little bit to the egg-shaped side. And I followed them for about, I don't know how long, just watched and trying to figure out what it was. I couldn't believe my eyes. They looked like they were really moving out faster the further they got away. They look like they're about 40 feet underwater, maybe 20 feet, 40 feet. It's out in the crystal clear Gulf Stream. They kept on going off. As they faded away, I don't know if they faded off in the distance or whether they made a dive down or what, but they were gone. Mysteries like this uh, that we don't understand, we tend to uh, attribute to the supernatural. We don't like to admit that we don't understand everything in life, but I'm sure that there is a, a, a basic scientific uh, explanation that eventually will will be found for this phenomenon. There was a mention of white water. White water meaning actually what? What could white water really mean? Squalls, they would certainly not take down five planes in a small squall. The phenomena of white water is a is rare, but does occur. And it basically consists of a extremely violent squall with very, very heavy rains and high winds at the surface of the sea. It lashes up the surface of the sea to a white color, and mixed with the rain, the horizon completely disappears, and it's if you're, as if you're flying in a, in a completely white wall, just as if you're in the Arctic buried under snow. This may be what happened to our plane and his 13 men that night, but no one will ever know. What they have done is, I went back in the past on the pylos, just five minutes before they dropped out of the air in the sea. And then it opens, the sea opens. The air on the plane was carrying on dropped 
and the plane goes like that. I have seen that it's down with the ships exactly the same. It will happen all the time in the future. In the near future, we'll drop a plane with 80, 90 people. What is this wrath-flinging, horrifying curse that prevails in the Devil's Triangle? An affliction so incredible that even the United States Coast Guard is reluctant to make an observation on the matter. There is always potential danger when venturing on or over any sizable body of water. The sea is unforgiving to those who exercise less than mature judgment. It is really not so odd, then, that so many lives and ships are lost each year when so many are unprepared to go to sea.